50 Cent is flexing his muscle at BET. Tony Scott here. We're looking at Tony's T. Some entertainment headlines grabbed my attention today. 50 Cent has said he will cancel Irv Gotti's low-rated show, Tales, at BET. 50 apparently is in a position of power now where he can make those kind of decisions. He posted it on Instagram, but then it since got deleted, so maybe he don't have the power that he thought he had. No pun intended. And I'm pretty sure Irv Gotti ain't feeling the decision by 50 to cancel him. It's not a good look. Chris Brown is telling his side of the story of what happened the night in 2009 when he beat Rihanna. He says in the documentary about him that it all started because Rihanna saw another girl's text on his phone. Next thing you knew, he busted her in the lip, she spit in his face with blood, and he said he felt like a monster. But then I really hit her, like I, like I with a closed fist, like I punched her, you know, and it uh, busted her lip. And when I saw it, I was in shock. I was like, oh, why the hell did I hit her? Like, so from there, she just spit in my face, like spit the blood in my face. And I'm like, you know, so it enraged me even more. Like, there's a real on fight in the car. I just, I hate it to this day. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's going to haunt me forever. And LeBron James is producing a series about Madam C.J. Walker with Octavia Spencer, who will also star in the project. Now, Netflix is reportedly interested in the series. LeBron continues to grow his empire outside of basketball. The series will be based on the book written by Madam C.J. Walker's great-great-granddaughter. At KRV.com, Solange Knowles deletes her Twitter account, but not before she cusses out some people. And Queen Latifah will be honored for all her accomplishments at the Revolt Conference. Queen Latifah has actually done a lot in the entertainment business. Thanks for checking out Tony's T for Smooth R&B 105.7. I'm Tony Scott.